morning, this is Riley with Lano Equipment in Shockby, and today we're gonna to introduce and show you the Kubota ZD1211. Um, so we'll start kind of brief synopsis on this. They offer two versions of this series. They offer the 60 inch deck, which we're gonna overview today, and they also offer the 72 inches deck. This is gonna be a 26 horsepower diesel Kubota built engine. Um, from front to back, it's all gonna be Kubota parts. It is a 26 horsepower, so you are gonna be under that EPA threshold of the tier four emissions. So you will not have a DPF canister uh, on this machine because you are under that 26 horsepower range. This has the ACS, which is the aerodynamic cutting system. So with that, they actually changed the cutting height about a half an inch, um, and they actually changed the baffles as well too, which is nice because with the 26 horsepower diesel engine, um, it gets under that EPA, like I mentioned before, but that's what gets the ability of having the non-clumping version and having it be able to shoot out the side. It's got baffles on the front here as well. Um, the nice advanced cushion suspension seat with the armrests, uh, adjustable by the operator's weight. Um, it does have the nice ability to move forward and reverse. It is a hydraulically driven deck up and down. So with the hydraulic deck lift, um, that is going to be also driven by a PTO shaft to engage the actual deck in itself. So a nice cool feature is with this Kubota Zero Turn is it is actually a shaft driven deck. Typical mower like this is gonna be used in either the agricultural world or even the cities and municipalities and even some larger landscaping companies um, just because of the size of the machine itself um, and the ability that it has, it kind of gears itself towards more of the ag and commercial and governmental side of things. A nice new feature with this is gonna be the new little LCD monitor here. You can see the actual engine temperature on this one, the fuel gauge, you've got your PTO engagement, your neutral sticks, what a lot of people forget, if you leave it in a little bit, it's not gonna be able to start. So tapping those all the way over. Obviously you've got your parking brake, glow plug here, engine, oil, battery, and your low light fuel as well. On the newer uh, ZD mowers, you have a dual tank on each side. The older ZD models was driven by a valve on the inside here to control from your left to your right tank. So you can see this here, there's gonna be a bleeder line between the two tanks, enabling not to ever have to do that. So nice cool feature that Kubota kind of listened to their customers on. Other competitors have a rigid mount where this has the ability to have an articulation from side to side, setting that Kubota zero turn apart from its competitors. You can switch this thing into an actual rigid mount if you wanted to. Uh, typically, a lot of guys and customers like yourselves would like to leave it in the articulation mowing, um, helping follow the contour of the ground. This is Riley with Lano Equipment. Please stop at any of our three stores and we look forward to speaking with you.